Hello YouTube! It's been a while since I made um, another video and I thought I would make one about this very curious little object which arrived in the mail today. I picked this up on eBay um, about a week ago and it's something that I don't think most people will have seen and that is what prompted me to make this little video. So what we have here is a sterling silver pendant. Um, it's about mm, an inch and a half long and it has very nice engravings on the side and two little slide toggles. One there, one there, and there's a little uh, ring top to put it onto a silver chain to wear it as a pendant. When I was very, very young, my grandmother had one of these in solid gold. And uh, when she moved into a retirement home, it went missing and we never, never found it and I was very upset. And so when I saw this, um, it reminded me of my grandmother, and I thought it would be nice to have it as a little keepsake. So what is it? These were very common in China, um, various parts of Asia, in the late 19th, early 20th centuries. Um, they were often made of solid gold or solid silver. This is sterling silver. Uh, my grandmother's would have been like 18 or 20 karat gold, something like that. And what it is, it's a little personal care item. So these two toggles slide back and forth. And in here we have a sterling silver earwax curette or spoon for scraping out earwax and on the other side this is a sterling silver toothpick so I'll slide out the other one like so and there you can see the two items together I don't know um, any company that makes these anymore. I think you can get like similar variations coming out of China. They're made out of like brass or titanium or stainless steel or something and they, they screw apart. But these, these are the vintage ones. These are the antique ones and they slide back and forth just like that. And then you would wear it on a chain around your neck so that it was always uh, nearby in case you ever needed to use it. Yeah, it's a uh, interesting little piece. When you slide out the two implements, the whole thing is just under three inches long. Um, it's about maybe two and seven eighths, something like that. So yeah, I just wanted to share this with you. Um, I have seen these listed online as opium spoons. I have no idea why, because they are definitely not opium spoons. Um, any, anyone from China, anyone with a Chinese background who had a grandparent or an uncle or an aunt who owned one of these will be able to tell you that. Um, for some reason, people think that you know, oh, these were used for opium, you know, they were used for, uh, you know, tamping down the opium and for, uh, and for scooping up the opium. Uh, no, they were used for cleaning your teeth and for cleaning your ears. Um, maybe not as elegant, but hey, if you have to do it, then you might as well do it with style. Anyway, there it is. I hope you enjoyed looking at it, this uh, interesting little piece. And uh, thank you for watching. If you have any other 
questions or comments, then leave them in the comments section below. Leave a rating. Um, and of course, check out my blog. The link is in the description below. Thank you very much for watching.